Hey guys, this is Arun from Tech Configurations, and today we're going to talk about a very useful software uh, for smartphone users. Uh, it's called the Wondershare Tunes Go. Uh, this software uh, is basically a mobile management software. It can manage uh, all the aspects of your smartphone. You can manage all the files, uh, majors, videos. Uh, contacts, apps, even you can root your device uh, with this software. So it actually helps you to manage uh, all the aspects in a single software without the need of uh, digging into the subfolders of your smartphone. So now let's just go straight into the software interface of the Wondershare Tunes Go. And you can see this is the interface and uh, you have uh, switching between the devices here. So if you have multiple devices connected uh, to your PC, you can switch between them from this tab and uh, if you are using a device for the first time you have to actually enable developer options in the settings so there is a very detailed description here so you can just check that out and follow those steps and will be all set to go uh, so let's switch back to the Galaxy S8 Plus and the next thing that we have is a screenshot uh, functionality so you can directly capture the screenshot uh, of your device from here so you can just refresh the screenshot and you can take the, save the screenshot from here. So here we have uh, the details about the phone stories and the SD card stories. And on the top side you could see uh, different tabs like music, videos, photos, information, apps, explorer and toolbox. So the music tab, here we can manage all the music files on your device. So you might have noticed uh, when uh, we download uh, the music from different softwares or different uh, sources, usually they all uh, come under different subfolders. So it's very hard to find uh, each and every music and to actually uh, copy it to your PC. But here you have all the music files on your smartphone on a single list. So you can just browse it and you can uh, copy whatever content that you want. Just tick it and you can click the export function and it will automatically export uh, to your PC or you can export it to iTunes. So whatever you want to do or you can export it to the second device that you have connected uh, to your PC. So very, very, very easy interface. That's what makes the software very useful. You don't have to go through the subfolders and find the music. You can directly see all the music files on your system right in front of you which makes it very very fast and efficient way to manage your smartphone so now let's go into the video tab you could see here I have all the video files just like the music files I don't need to go into subfolders I can just uh, take whatever I want and export it to PC or the smartphone as I need the next thing that we have here is the photo tab and this is where you can manage all the image files on your smartphone and the best thing is that it is all sorted just like the gallery so you don't have to browse uh, through the folders to get images it's it's under a single tab you can just click ev every folder and see what is in there and you can just take whatever stuff you want from it so this makes a very very easy to manage uh, the pictures downloaded from different sources like WhatsApp if you're downloaded from your browser it will be on different folder if you if you're, if you're capture the image using your camera it will be on a different folder so usually it will it takes a lot of uh, time to find those folders but here it, you can see it's it's on a single tab uh, it's under photo tab and you can actually browse them just like the gallery and you can s export whatever stuff that you want and you can just click export and you can export it to PC or your device whatever you want so these are very simple steps it's very very convenient to manage so that's the thing that I love about the software it makes it really easy to manage every aspect of your smartphone so now let's move on to the information tab and you could see this is where you can manage your contacts and SMS. You can export, you can import contacts, you can import uh, SMS, you can export your SMS files uh, which is all uh, pretty easy here. So uh, that's what uh, we could see right here. The next tab is the apps tab where you can uh, manage uh, the applications that are installed on your smartphone. You can actually uninstall apps from here. You can install apps from this tab and you can directly install uh, if you have the files for installing your application you can just select it and you can just open the file and it will automatically install that particular application to your smartphone so uh, you can also uh, select multiple files you can you can just uh, multiple application and just uh, uninstall them all of them in just a single click so this is a pretty easy uh, task to do compared to the conventional way of getting into settings and uninstalling each of them one by one uh, from your uh, application menu so that's very difficult uh, compared to this thing where you can actually select 10 applications and you can delete it no issues so it's very very easy and uh, the next thing that we have is the explorer tab 
uh, which is a similar thing just like uh, your file manager on your on your smartphone uh, you have internal memory and external memory and you can browse through the files and um, uh, manage you can actually arrange or select create new folder whatever you want to do you can just do it right here so this is just like a application a file manager system and nothing more than that uh, the next thing that we have is a toolbox and this is where they have provided a lot of options you can actually uh, rebuild your iTunes library you can actually transfer iTunes medias uh, you can actually use uh, the phone transfer phone to phone transfer which means if you want uh, to transfer some files from one phone to another uh, which includes uh, images videos contacts SMS whatever you want you can actually transfer one phone to another in one click uh, select the, the device that you have or you want to send the, the files to and you can actually uh, click this next tab and uh, it will ask for whatever category that you want and you can select the category that you need uh, if you want videos and images only you can select the videos and images and it will actually send all the videos and image file to that second device that you have connected to the PC so that makes it very easy if you, are, if you just bought a new device and you want to transfer all the files uh, it just it's very very fast way to do that the next thing that we have is the backup and uh, restore function where you can backup your all the system files or whatever you want uh, to your PC and uh, you can actually restore it whenever you want so you could see when I click on the backup tab it actually analyzes my smartphone and uh, and it uh, after that we can actually transfer you can actually make a backup file so you can see I have only selected the contacts messages calendars and call logs so if I just click on the backup you could see it's creating the backup file and if you want uh, you can also add the music and video files but I'm not doing it because it's I have a lot of music files and video files on my uh, smartphone so that will make a huge uh, big uh, backup file so I don't want to do that uh, so that's why I have selected very few options and you could see it's backupping all the contacts, messages, calendars, and call logs. You can also see the activities going on uh, with the messages. And uh, yeah, the calendar okay, we have done uh, with the backup. And you can actually see the open the backup file option. And you can see this is the backup file I have created. And if you want to uh, restore this file, you have to go uh, to the restore tab. And you can select uh, whichever uh, file, whichever backup file that you want. And you can just I click next and go into the restore process so it's very simple uh, so that's how easy to manage the backup and restore so it can uh, actually take all your videos files images uh, contacts and everything into a single backup file and it can actually restore it uh, when you want so that's a very very interesting functionality uh, the next thing that we have is the other tools which includes the gif maker the ringtone maker and the one click route so let's take a look at the gif maker uh, this is interface and you can actually set the resolution and you can also set the frame rate and you can add uh, image files from here so I'm gonna add some a uh, few images for the gif just for demonstration so I have uh, one from here so now I have added uh, three images uh, for the gif maker and I can actually set the resolution to whatever I want and uh, I can just click on the create gif tab and you could see I have already created a GIF file. You could see it's just playing. You could see this is how you can. This is how easy that you can make GIF out of your uh, smartphone with this software. So it's pretty easy. So now let's move on to the one-click root functionality. And uh, I would say this is some of the simplest way you can root your device. You don't need to uh, do anything else. You can just click uh, on one click root and uh, your device will be uh, instantly rooted and there is a list of uh, supported devices on the website I want to share uh, and most probably all the devices are supported and the mainstream devices like STC, the Galaxy S8 series, all those smartphones from the mainstream brands are supported under the one one click root functionality but this one is the simplest way to root your smartphone uh, so I don't want to root it now so I just just go into the cancel tab okay so now let's move on to the ringtone maker. I can actually uh, load your music file and you can uh, just uh, crop whatever part of the file you want and you can make it as a as your ringtone. So uh, that's pretty much about the functionality and uh, I have actually tried to show you the most important functions and the way it is actually uh, makes it easy to use it and how it's done. Uh, so I must say the Wondershare TuneScore is a very nice uh, management software. It works flawlessly it is a really 
great software to manage all the files, all the images, all the videos, everything into a single platform uh, without you having to go into the subfolders and find the stuff. This is a very easy way to do that. Uh, so uh, now let's move on to the availability. I have provided all the links in the description. You can just check that out, uh, and uh, you can uh, buy if you want. Uh, the software is available for download. You can also try it for free, and then you can, if you want, you can buy it. And uh, the subscription rates are here. You could see uh, there is uh, three ways to do that. The first is annual subscription, where you can just buy uh, the three vari variants of this software. One is for Android only, second is for iOS only, and this uh, the TuneScore suite is for both Android and iOS, and this is most expensive, of course. So you could see the $49.95 is the current price of the TuneScore suite for a uh, annual subscription offer. And if you're looking for a lifetime license, you can just get it uh, on $59.95 uh, for it's a lifetime offer, so you don't have to pay a subscription on every year. So this is just $10 more. Uh, to do to get it so I would recommend uh, to buy the lifetime license and uh, if you have more devices since it is only supports one PC if you if you have more devices you can just select the family license pack uh, which is about $159.95 for the TuneScore score suit and if you only have Android devices you just need to spend uh, $107 uh, I would say it's a very sweet deal it's a little expensive but I would say it, it's worth it because uh, this makes it very very simple to manage your uh, smartphone. Uh, so guys, uh, that's pretty much about it and uh, we have provided all the links uh, uh, in the description below. You can check them out and uh, um, thanks for watching this video and if you like this video, hit the like button and stay subscribed. Thank you.